Hey guys, good evening and thank you very much for joining today. I don't know what happened, but for some reason the application, Zoom application, it's kind of slow today and it took me a while, you know, to um, to um, see the button to begin with the with the conference with the with the meeting. So welcome and thank you very much for joining and being on time. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Just bear with me because I need to open the attendance list. But tell me before, well, in the meantime, right? All I do is tell me, how was your day? I mean, how are you doing today? Very busy. Busy, tell me why. Uh, I, I had a problem with my printer. And I tried to fix that oh. on the morning. Up, up. It was your printer, you said, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Oh, how strange, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, printers are a headache sometimes. Give me a second. I'm going to open here the um, attendance. What about the rest? What about the rest, guys? How was your day? What do you do? Was it good? Teacher. Yeah. I am in the traffic. I was it's working. So true. On, yes, in the 5 de noviembre. I was working one hour ago in, este, in Colonia Escalón. Yeah. I, I can't do. You couldn't. In my, I, I am in traffic. Now. So right now you are on your way home? So you're no. going home right now? I am going home, but I am in the traffic. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Sandra. Well, mm -hmm. and, and, and I totally understand, right? If you uh -huh. are just... I will be listening. Perfect. No problem. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, yeah. and I totally forgot about it because, uh, you know, I was kind of shocked to listen to the, I mean, to the news about this accident that we had today. Um, I was shocked because um, I had already observed, you know, that type of behavior, right? Whenever you, um... oh, Alejandra, Elizabeth, no worries. Thank you very much for letting me know and welcome. So I was saying I had already observed, you know, that type of, um, it's not behavior, but um, I don't know, for some reason, I, I you know, one during the month of January, I have been traveling a lot from San Salvador to Lourdes, Colón, and now I'm living here, right? So, but now I just go to San Salvador twice or three times a month. But during the month of January, I was traveling, you know, back and forth, back and forth every single day from San Salvador to Lourdes, to Lourdes Colón. And I was worried because um, whenever you go down the highway, you know, uh, Los Proceres, right? It's kind of the speed, you know, the trucks and um, those trailers have its, you know, um, dangerous, right? So I was afraid and I said, uh, wow, definitely. I mean, um, this is, you know, kind of dangerous. And, and I never imagined, I never imagined that something that was just in my imagination could happen, right? So um, I was very sad to hear about the news today. And I know that most of the students, you know, are already um, experiencing the traffic jam because they couldn't move, you know, all the um, uh, cars that are damaged, right, and broken. So um, I totally understand if you are going to be uh, just as a listener and, and thanks for um, letting me know, right, about it. And welcome, guys, again um, to the class. This is your session number 10, right? Session number 10. And actually, um, I asked, fíjense, les comento así en español rapidito. Pregunté por lo del, um, por lo del, lo de los módulos que tenemos, las secciones que tenemos en, en, en la plataforma, chicos. Y they told me, me dijeron, que no, que, que sí, que solo son cuatro secciones, ¿verdad? Y que, pues, esas son las que vamos a trabajar. Así que, don't worry, we have time to cover other topics, right? That's not going to be an issue at all. So, we're going to be working with the topics that we have here 
plus, you know, the um, any other um, review that we can have about it could be either present simple or simple past. I'll be more than happy to go ahead and use that time to learn new things with you. Okay, así que por eso no nos preocupamos, right? That siempre hay que hacer, como dicen. So guys, welcome. We are going to pass the attendance. Just let me find your list because yours is the very last one. But yesterday, we were talking about early birds and night owls, right? And we were discussing, you know, the what they make the, a reference of, right? So we were saying that, well, es más, mejor les pregunto, what's an early bird? I mean, um, when do we use that terminology, that word, an early bird? Who is that person? An early bird is a person who sleep uh, uh, very, uh, Sleep, get up, get up uh, in the morning, morning, and, and, and began to work at, at things. Uh, uh, in, uh, for example, for AM, and he is uh, asleep uh, and began to work uh, very, very temprano, very early. Very early. early. Yeah. That's really right. That's an early bird, right? So an early bird, as you were saying, Elio, it's the type of person who will go to bed early, who will sleep his seven to eight hours. So parenthesis will be a lot healthier, right? And um, also wakes up very early in the morning and begins duties as fast as they can. I mean, not talking about doing things quickly, but as soon as they get up, they just begin, you know, with all the things that they have to do. Right, don't forget, we need to sleep so we can have better health. So thank you. What about the night owl? Night owl, I'm sorry, night owl? Anyone who remembers what a night owl or who, you know, this person would be? Okay, Claudia Marcela, tell me. Marce. Uh, some, someone uh, who had uh, energy during the night totally right so it's that type of person who, is, who feels very productive you know and has that boost of energy in the late evening i mean late afternoon early evening right so and and we have lots of people like that but obviously the night owl it's going to go to bed very late and it's going to wake up therefore very late the next day, right? So thank you very much guys for that. Now let's take a look at the attendance. Eh, Alba Adir Portal Diaz. Present. Thank you, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present. Thank you, Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Eh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Present. Thank you, Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Eliu, ah, okay. Eliu, thank you, Anthony. Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Eh, Francisco Antonio Sanchez Jovel. Present. Thank you, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you, Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present. Thank you, um, Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Eh, Maria Azucena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Uh, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you, Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Daniel Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de Paz. I'm here. Thank you, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Jensi Marlene Leon Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Enzulma Beatriz Perez Caldames. 
Okay, very good. So let's go in, let's go to the topics that is the Sulma. Ah, okay. Boy Sulma. Nice stuff. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Yesterday we were talking, we were also reviewing and write some of the phrases that I was sharing with you that you can use in order to add that, you know, um extra touch, you know, to whenever you are expressing things about yourself. And we were prepared, I mean, we were working with some sentences. Also, we were discussing some uh, vocabulary words, you know, from the first, uh, from section number four, early birds and night owls. We mentioned the morning person, the late riser, <laughs> the power napper, and the night owl, right? So as you can see, and well, the early, an early bird, right? Or this type of person can also be um, named a morning person. So if I am a morning person, that means that I'm going to get up uh, in the morning and I'm going to directly begin with all my activities. That's going to be the morning person, right? So also, dice Ana Francisca García Nieto, ah, I'm here, dice ahorita. Ana, ahí está, Ana, ya le agrega. Thank you. And also the late riser, right? So <laughs> this is going to be the person that goes to bed late. No, but you know what? The late riser, even though if this person goes to bed early, this person is going to have problems waking up early, right? So it's the type of person who, um, uh, what's the name of this verb? Snoozed the alarm, right? So you click on snoozed five minutes, 10 minutes, right? And uh, that, by the way, that um, in a way causes damage, right? Hace más daño que bien, ¿verdad? So if you snooze your alarm, don't do it anymore. No lo haga, right? Just if we, if you woke up uh, with the first alarm uh, ring, wake up. Don't wait for, you know, for the alarm to ring again and again and again. Don't, uh, the power napper, uh, some of you didn't know what a power napper, I mean, what a power nap is. And a power nap is that, you know, time that you allow yourself to rest and to sleep so you can feel more energetic after it. And it can take, it can um, last, I'm sorry, from 10 to 30 minutes, right? That's a power nap. Then we have a night owl, right? A night owl is what you have already described, the person who has more energy in the evening, Okay. Um, we were talking about, you know, what um, we do, right, uh, or at least the best time, right, to do certain things, and you had the chance to read it, right, whenever you need to study for a test, do it between 9 a.m. and noon, study languages in the early afternoon, which we cannot because of the schedule, right? Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon, right? Energy levels drops between 2 and 4 p.m. Before your energy level falls, try taking a short nap. Oh, obviously, if you can, right? Because you cannot do that at the office. Actually, we should be able to, but we cannot, right? Uh, I read a book, and this book is called thrive i think by ariana huffington and she was the founder i think of the huffington huffington post and she had a burnt out the syndrome that is called burnt out or cuando usted pues lamentablemente dio todo lo que tenía que dar en su trabajo y boom something happened so that happened to her and after realizing that she hadn't been sleeping well and that she had been uh, a workaholic for a long, a long period of time, she included rooms at the Huffin Huffington Post uh, building. She included rooms that, um, you know, if you felt tired and you wanted to take a power, I mean, if you wanted to go and, and have that power nap, you could go ahead and be there. Okay, you had the chance to go and sleep from 10 to 30 minutes, so you could feel better. And guess what? The levels of productivity went up. So people had those rooms. Uh, yes. Hi, Victoria. 
Buenas noches, Ay. buenas noches a todos. Disculpen, antes que se me vayan a salas, necesito brindar unas indicaciones, ¿ok? Sí, claro. Ok, eh, para todos los participantes, se les, les solicito de la manera más atenta, por favor, enviar el comprobante de manual. Hay muchos que están pendientes, requerimos ese documento con la mayor eh, brevedad posible. E, y, lo, y recuerden que ya estamos recibiendo documentos de reinscripción para aquellos que estén pendientes. Tenemos hasta el día de mañana para hacer el envío de, este, de estos documentos. Pues eh, ya estamos armando los grupos, ¿verdad? Y requerimos con urgencia eso, saber que ustedes van a dar continuidad a este proceso formativo, ¿ok? Así que les pido por favor que aquellos que estén pendientes con esto, por favor, hagan el envío importante. No se van a procesar eh, documentos de reinscripción a aquellos que estén pendientes con el comprobante de manual, ¿ok? Así que por favor, hacer el envío de esto y también recuerden de la plataforma, hay muchos que no van al día, verificar la sección que cada uno cumpla con un mínimo de, de porcentaje del 80%, ¿por qué no llegar al 100? Yo sé que ustedes pueden, ¿verdad? Así que para esta semana, el día jueves, la sección 4 estaremos revisando y la mitad de la sección 5 deben estar ya trabajadas, por favor, ponerse al día y nada más eh, solicitarles eso. Es urgente y a sus documentos de reinscripción los estamos esperando y el comprobante, ¿ok? Así que nada más eso. Muchísimas gracias por su tiempo. Pasen feliz noche. Ay, gracias, Victoria. Muy amable. Y pues eh, para los demás chicos, los hemos pues estado mencionando durante su día, ¿verdad? Es importante que trabajemos eh, en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, recordemos que pues prácticamente son las clases que nosotros tenemos acá, pero para Insaform, ¿verdad? Esa nota de la plataforma es su pase para el siguiente módulo, ¿verdad? Así que yo sé que muchos ya terminaron, pero sí los invito, chicos, a que pues tratemos de finalizar esa parte de, de la plataforma para que pues no, no tengamos ningún inconveniente con la inscripción para el siguiente nivel. De acuerdo. Igual, ¿verdad? Cualquier pregunta, avísenme. Y más aún, recuerden que solo son cuatro secciones, o sea, es una sección menos, ¿verdad? Así que don't forget that. El comprobante también es importante porque esos son, esos van directamente para Insafor. De acuerdo. Así que eh, si no lo ha enviado, lo invito a que, a que, a que lo, a que lo haga. Give me a second. I was checking, you know, your messages. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, being honest, media vez me meto en las clases. It's like I, I ignored the phone. And um, yeah, I was reviewing your messages. But thank you also for accessing, for, I mean, for joining the class and let, let me know through, you know, the, the class. So coming back to the topic, I was saying, right? So levels of productivity went up when, you know, Um, the employees had those rooms, right? So I think that would be a wonderful idea, pero obvio, ¿verdad? Siempre pagan justos por pecadores y mate alguno, pues se aproveche y por eso pues quitan esas oportunidades. So that was what we did yesterday. Ahí cabal nos quedamos, okay? And I said that we were going to discuss the information related, related to the grammar topic today, right? And the topic for this particular section it's called reduced time clauses um it's a little bit you know um confusing because of the name but it's just something that happens whenever you know we are talking or using adverbs you know of time and i will show you why so there were some phrases you know from um, the information that we read before yesterday in this case And we have here, notice how these clauses show time relationships. If the subject of the sentence doesn't change, clauses with right before or right after and while can be reduced. How does it work? Okay, so for example, it says after I finish or after finishing my work, I head to the office. Okay, look at look at the the um uh, at the verb. Okay, after I finish my work, I head to the office. Or after uh, after finishing my work, I head to the office. So as you can see, right, we have the two options, right? Entonces, teacher, porque se llama reduce because I remove 
the pronoun. You see? So ya no digo after I finish, digo after finishing work, workout. I head to the office. So if you see, the pronoun is repeated in both clauses. Como está repetida en ambas cláusulas, yo perfectamente puedo eliminar una. Pero ¿qué pasa? What happens when I drop the subject in one of them? Bueno, si, es, si, si yo vengo y lo reduzco o lo elimino, prácticamente el verbo que sigue va con ing. ¿Ok? So, after finishing my workout, I head to the office. While I take lunch break at work or while taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Ok? This is while I take se convierte en while taking. While taking my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. Okay, so in that way, what I'm doing is reducing that. I'm just dropping the subject and I'm adding the ing form to the verb. I'm not very approachable right after I wake up or I'm not very approachable right after waking up. <clears throat> so in that case, it doesn't matter if the clause is at the beginning or at the end. Give me a second because I need some water. Sorry, guys, I'm just asking for some water because I want you to drink some water. Okay, I was saying, um, I'm not very approachable right after I wake up or right after waking up, right? So um, you can see, it doesn't matter if it's at the beginning or if it's at the end, you can reduce that time close. Entonces, ¿cómo voy a saber, teacher? ¿Cuál es la que voy a reducir? ¿Dónde está la palabra? ¿Cuál, teacher? After, while, o right after, ¿verdad? Puede ser también de esa forma, no solo after, sino que right after, while y after, ¿ok? Ay, sorry guys, I really needed to sip some water. Well, drink. Uh, however, it says other time classes cannot usually be reduced. Hmm. ¿Cuándo es que no las puedo reducir? Bueno, Look, it says, ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. Yo no puedo decir ever since being a kid. Mm -mm, no. Ever since I was a kid. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. As soon as I get up. No puedo decir, teacher, as soon as getting up. Mm, that would look a little bit weird, right? So... Apparently, it's not recommended, right? Until I had my coffee, I'm such a grouch. ¿Qué dijimos que era grouch? Do you remember? What is the meaning of grouch? Anyone? Aha, uh -huh. ya lo olvidaron. Grouch. What is the meaning of grouch? No? Grouch, gruñón, ¿verdad? So, until I've had my coffee, I'm such a grouch, okay? So, until ha until having my coffee, mm, I don't think it sounds cool. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. Whenever having to work, mm, not recommended, okay? I've been, an, I mean, I've been a night person from the moment I started college. Mm, from the moment starting college, no, right? Entonces, cuando yo tengo ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment, no, we cannot reduce the time clauses. Pero, teacher, ¿por qué se llaman time clauses? Porque tienen ese adverbio de tiempo. En este caso que es eh, ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, from the moment. They make reference of time. Pero si yo uso after, right after, uh, right before and before, 
plus while I can reduce the time clauses, okay? So, do you have questions? Questions so far? Preguntas hasta el momento? Preguntas? No this questions. Kind, this kind of, of clauses, we must learn by heart. That's totally right, Eliu. You need to identify first, you know, the <clears throat> the uh, adverbs, yeah. and uh -huh, and and if you if you remember them, right, so you will be able to use it wisely, because we can summarize it like this: if if the two class, I mean, if one of the classes, if one of the classes has after, right after, before, right before. And while I know that if I want to reduce it, I need to drop the subject and add the, uh, the ing to the verb, right? And if I have adverbs of time, such as ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment, if even if I want to reduce them, that cannot happen because they won't sound natural and they won't sound grammatically correct. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Anyone else? No? Okay. So I took this information from the video that you have in the platform, okay? And in the platform, it said, adverbs of, I mean, adverb classes of time, porque eso es lo que son, son adverbs of time. Por lo tanto, la cláusula, o sea, ese pedacito de oración se convierte en una adverb clause of time, can be changed to modify phrases only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. Don't forget that. Bye. Si ustedes se fijan aquí, miren, so yo digo, after I finish or after finishing my workout, I head to the office. Si yo dijese, after we finish our workout, I head to the office. ¿Podría yo hacer una, una uh, reduced time close con esa oración? Si yo digo, after we finish or after finishing our workout, I head to the office. ¿Podría hacerlo? Bueno, la voy, a, la voy a digitar, permítame, para que me entienda mejor. Give me a second. Vamos a abrir la pizarrita. And let's say, for instance, that my sentence is after, oops, sorry, after I finish or after finishing. Ah, no, perdón, porque es en la, la otra. After we finish, ¿verdad? After we finish our workout comma i head to the office can i have a reduced time clause here yes yes why because we are using the 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 time clause after the advert of time okay very good. That, well, that would be a good guess. Okay, now look at what it says here. Alpha clauses of time can be changed to modify phrases. Only when the subject of the adverb clause and the main clause are the same. Vamos a ver quién se recuerda. Um, what is the difference between the dependent clause and the independent clause? ¿Cuál sería la, la main clause? Ok, main clause es a es a description of, it is a if something that if uh, is very important about a noun or a subject is so important. Ok, very good. We, could, we can say that the main clause is the one that contains the main message, the core, right, of the sentence. Yes. Very good. Okay, now look at the uh, look at the at the sentence one more time. En este caso, no podríamos hacerlo. ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque no, vaya, tenemos la cláusula 1. Vamos a dividirla. Let's take it. De acuerdo a lo que dice ahí, 
tenemos dos cláusulas, ¿ok? Una es la main clause y la otra pues es la que depende de esa main clause. Será el, pero dice ahí que si no tienen el mismo sujeto, no puedo. ¿Tienen el mismo sujeto estas dos, estas dos cláusulas? No. Exacto. Exacto. Entonces, cuando tenemos different subjects, porque, por ejemplo, si yo digo, after finishing our workout, I head to the office, tal vez este hour me ayudaría como a dar el, a entender que es, son otras personas, ¿verdad? Pero lo ideal cuando yo tengo una, una eh, time, I mean, other of time clauses, close, I'm sorry, or clauses, lo importante, perdón, lo, lo ideal sería que el, el subject sean esté en las dos cláusulas. ¿Por qué? Porque eso me ayuda a mí automáticamente reducirlo o eliminar lo que no necesito porque se repite de nuevo. De acuerdo. Entonces, eh, that, that is what you can find in the video. Esto lo tomé del video de la plataforma. ¿Ok? Now, time expressions like right before, right after, before, after and while, all of these Whenever you see them in the in both clauses, those will be time clauses. Okay. Example, it says, after I finish my work, I head to the office. After finishing my work, I head to the office. Right? Now, si ustedes se fijan aquí, como ya les había comentado, lo que sucede es que we drop or we remove the subject o el pronombre que esté ahí, ¿verdad? El sujeto. Ese es, eso es lo que yo voy a remover. Por eso es que tiene que ser el mismo en ambas cláusulas. Porque como yo lo vuelvo a repetir, y si está la cláusula antes, yo ya la he mencionado a esa persona o a ese subject, entonces ya no necesito hacerlo de nuevo. Entonces, cuando yo remuevo el subject, o the pronoun, right? Uh, I, I'm just left with the verb. Solo me queda el verbo. Entonces, Ahí, cuando ya tengo el verb, right, it's where I add ing. After finishing my work, I head to the office. What else? After finishing my work, I head to the office, right? So, esto que dice aquí, present participle, es lo mismo que un, un gerundio, un gerund, ing. ¿De acuerdo? Por eso es que ella lo menciona así en, la, en, la plataforma, en el video de la plataforma. Así se llama el ing, present participle. Right? Presente participio. So, when I take my lunch break at work, I often sneak a five minute nap. While taking my lunch, my lunch break at work, I often sneak out a five minute nap. So, same happens. I remove the subject and then I add ing to the verb, leaving me with a present gerund. Okay? These are other examples that she uses in the video, right? Ever since I was a kid, I've had trouble getting up early. As soon as I get up in the morning, I race off to the gym. Until I've had made my cough, until I ha I've had my coffee, I'm such a grouch. Whenever you have to work with numbers, plan to do it around noon. I've been a night, I've been a night person from the moment I started college. So if you see, all of these contain a different uh, adverb of time, right? Entonces, ahí está la lista, cabalito, de los que yo no puedo reducir. Listen. Son dos, dos diferentes escenarios en los que yo no puedo reducirlas. ¿Cuál es? El primero es cuando el sujeto no es el mismo en ambas cláusulas. Y el segundo, cuando tengo estos adverbios de tiempo. <clears throat> Ever since, as soon as. Until, whenever, and from the moment. When I have all of these adverbs, no, we cannot reduce them, right? So it says, pair work. Complete the sentence with information about yourself. Okay, guys. So we're going to put it into practice. Y vamos a hacer lo siguiente, okay? Vamos a hacer ambas. And I'm going to do the first one. Voy a hacer yo la primera y luego van a hacer ustedes la otra. So it says, while working on a really difficult task, I like to listen to ambient music. Okay? So, aquí vamos a hacer ambas. Esa sería la reduced, ¿verdad? 
reduced time class. Ok. Y la que no está reduced nos quedaría así. While I work. Sorry. While I work on a really difficult task, comma, perdón, comma, I like to listen to ambient music. ¿Ok? Entonces, esa nos queda, así nos quedaría la primera. ¿Qué haría usted? ¿Verdad? Yo porque a mí me gusta escuchar ambient music, but what about you? ¿Ok? Entonces, let's go ahead and work. Vamos a hacer la... Um, esa sería time clause. Oops, sorry. Time clause y la reduce time clause, ¿verdad? De cada una de esas. Ustedes harían number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, ¿ok? Entonces, I'm going to give you five times. No es necesario que las haga todas, pero al menos practice. Escoja al menos unas tres o cuatro, ¿ok? Ya hice yo la primera. So, do you have questions about the activity? Questions about the activity? In the... And in the case, in the situation that um, that, that the sentence belongs to the, the we cannot re reduce the, the time clause, is we, we live in the same way. Exactly. We, exactly. Yeah. So if you have one from the list that says that we cannot modify them, just complete the sentence with your information. That's okay. it. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Si está en la lista, ¿verdad? De los que yo no puedo, ¿verdad? Um, reduced. Entonces solo agregue y complete la oración. No hay problema. I'm going to give you five minutes, guys. Beginning from now, voy a abrir WhatsApp web para mandarles la lista. Si quieren en todo eso, mejor voy a abrir acá. And I'll do that because... Para que lo tengan. Give me a second. Um, voy a regresarme aquí porque la lista sería... Creo que esta se ve mejor. Esta. Estos son los que no pueden ser reduced, ¿ok? Ever since, as soon as, until, whenever, and from the moment. Si ustedes ven uno de esos, please do not reduce it. Está cargando, permitan. Vaya, creo que ahí está. Ya se los mandé. No sé si ya lo van a recibir. Aquí está cargando el mensaje. No sé si ya les habrá caído. Así que ahora sí. Your five minutes begin right now.
let me know if you are ready, guys, because the five minutes are already over. And if you have at least two or three examples, that would be wonderful. And please, if you can, type them in the chat. Go to the chat and type them if it's possible, right? If not, you can go ahead and read them. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. We have Claudia Marcelas, I mean, Marcelas, Marcelas. Sentences, it says, I become really frustrated whenever someone doesn't listen to me. Good job, no reduction there. I don't feel awake in the morning until I have drunk my coffee. Great, because we need no reduction there. Whenever I have trouble sleeping, I listen to music. Good job. And I can never concentrate after arguing with someone. Good job, excellent, because we have after, right? Excellent. Good job, Marce. What about the rest? Jose Francisco Peña is saying, I become really frustrated whenever the traffic is out of order. I use solo hace falta el off, right? Out of order. Good job. What about the rest? Continue, continue adding more. Anyone else? Veamos. I, I become really frustrated whenever I'm late okay I don't feel awake in the morning until I take a shower <laughs> yeah me too okay um uh -huh. then I this is Rosa Maria I become really frustrated whenever I have a, creo que sería I have a lot of homework and work uh -huh. when I have a lot of homework and work I don't feel awake in the morning until I take a shower. Ahí sí no podemos hacer reduction, Rosa Maria, porque necesitamos agregarlos. Whenever I have trouble sleeping, I think in the person, in the persons or people that I love. Uh -huh, muy bien. Love sin pasado, ¿verdad? Porque está en presente. I don't feel awake in the morning until I take a shower. Me too. I don't feel awake in the morning until I drink a cup of black coffee. My coffee con ah, muy bien, correcto, Leo, with double E. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más, chicos? Continue adding more. I don't feel awake in the morning until I hear con H, ¿verdad? With H, porque ear is just what I have. Until I hear the alarm clock I think the alarm clock very good anyone else anyone else but from what I can see guys Actually, it's, uh, I can see that you are, you know, including lots of information, right? And I can see that you have the idea, okay? You have the idea. Pero sí me gustaría ahora que eh, escuchar como algunos de ustedes, ¿verdad? Darme esos ejemplos. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Veamos. Whenever I have trouble sleeping con double E, I always pray. Ajá, muy bien. Muy bien, excelente. Anyone else? Okay. No questions, no more sentences. Very good. Let's go ahead and continue. 
Now in the manual, because actually I'm checking here the manual activity. <coughs> Oh my goodness, <clears throat> give me a second. Oh, well, uh, you know, I don't know if it happens to you. You're like normal and just stuck in, but all of a sudden it's like something, you know, goes through your throat and you need to remove it and you need to drink water. Otherwise you start coughing and coughing and coughing. So I was about to say that, um, there are, you know, other phrases that we can use. Actually, I won't go to this one yet. Esta la voy a dejar para después. This one too. Quiero, quería irme a unas frases acá. About giving, ad, oops, about giving advice. Okay, so uh, this is a another topic actually that we um, have in the manual, right? It's not directly related to the to the. Um, to the platform, porque si ustedes se fijan, si ustedes han ido con el manual y la plataforma, no todos los temas que están en el manual han sido incluidos en la plataforma, lo cual nos deja con bastante material todavía para trabajar. So um, here it, it's cool because we have um, a section where we can discuss a little bit about giving advice. We already know that the most uh, suitable that uh, modal verb to give advice is should, uh, or, or you can suggest, right? You can make suggestions by, oh, you should do this, you should do that, or I suggest uh, doing this, I suggest doing that, etc. So here we have four different situations, okay? Uh, we have caller one, two, three, and four. Now let's read. Caller one says, I've been working day and night on an important project. It's going well, but I'm feeling so worn out. I'm worried about my health. Bueno, cualquier parecido es pura coincidencia, ¿verdad? Do you know the meaning of worn out, guys? Do you know the meaning of that? Worn out. <clears throat> what oh. is the meaning of worn out? Okay, worn out, it's whenever you are extremely tired mentally and physically, right? So, and that happens. <laughs> That's why I was saying, right? Cualquier parecido es pura coincidencia. So, worn out is that, right? So whenever you are <clears throat> tired um, mentally and physically. Um, also, it says desgastado, dice la traducción. Desgastado. So, when you are worn out, right? And, 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 tired so that's the worst feeling ever uh feeling ever it says i'm worried about my health and then the second person says i get so nervous before i have to give a presentation that i can't sleep the night before <clears throat> and and then i'm not at my best so yeah in this one i think it's um, difficult because whenever we have a presentation or whenever we have to speak, you know, um, in public the next day, we need to rest. Why? Because if you're tired, your brain is tired, and that shows up, you know, on the way you speak. Have it, had it happened to you? For example, when I am really tired, I make a lot of mistakes speaking in English and in Spanish, right? Es como si el, el cerebro pues cansado no puede articular bien todas esas palabras y uno empieza, ¿y qué estoy diciendo, right? Y más en una lengua que no es la nuestra, inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, whenever you have to speak in public and if you didn't sleep well the night before, that's a consequence. Color three, it says, uh, I always put off studying until the night before the test. <clears throat> I stayed up all night studying, but after that, I still don't do very well. Okay, so it's like you study a lot, but you don't do well on the exam. Do you know the meaning of call, I mean, put off, guys? Put off. Do you know the meaning of this phrasal verb? No, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so put off, it's like cancel or posponer. Okay, that's put off, but posponer, digamos, postponer. Okay, so you put it off, 
o lo pospone tanto that you start or you study the, the, the night before. And definitely, guys, that's the worst idea ever. I mean, if you have an exam, a study, plan your uh, study, study sessions, uh -huh, because you cannot study everything just in one night. Impossible. Well, I guess there will be, you know, some talented people that can do that, but most of us, we can't, right? So we need to get ready. We need to prepare ahead of time. And then, obviously, it says, it says here, I still don't do very well. Como va a salir bien, right? If you were unable to sleep, so your brain is tired. You need some rest. And caller four says, whenever my friends call me late at night, <clears throat> we talk for hours and hours. The next day, I can't keep my eyes open, obviously. But believe me, believe me. Nowadays, it's not a friend calling and talking by I me mean, for hours and hours. Nowadays, it's a scrolling on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, all the social media um, that we have available, right? So, I mean, that's going to happen, right, whenever um, you do that. So, what I need you to do, guys, it's to prepare some pieces of advice, okay? Please prepare some pieces of advice. Um, with this, we, we're going to leave this one for tomorrow, okay, because I'm going to um, use this exercise for tomorrow, but right now what I want you to, uh, to do is to think of different pieces of advice. Bye. Hagamos uno, vamos a hacer el primero, y el día de mañana ustedes preparan consejos para la persona dos, tres y cuatro. Okay, so but, but what about number one? What are the pieces of advice that you can give to the first person? Any volunteer? <clears throat> Creo que aquí se ve mejor. She should rest. Okay, she should rest. Very, yeah, definitely. That would be like the very first thing to do. Very good. What else? ¿Qué más, chicos? You, you should work out between uh between some period of time during the you are working in the in your project okay actually we can summarize that elu by saying uh, you need to take some breaks right you need to take breaks in between okay. because yeah because uh Whenever you start, you know, you are working on something, you cannot just be there working on that for a long period of time. Therefore, I mean, if you do that, this is a consequence. You will end up worn out. Good job. What about another piece of advice for caller one? Caller one. <clears throat> Pieces of advice for color one. You can do it, guys. Obviously, you can do it. Just don't be afraid to speak or to share your opinions. I think in this in this person and um, it's important to take a, a break because uh, maybe uh, the the project is very important to the to the company mm -hmm. but uh, the health of the this person is <clears throat> more important than the that the goals of the company definitely so, I think uh, it's going to be uh, more more carefully with her or his health. Yeah, very good. Actually, that's a very good piece of advice to someone who is experiencing this, right? So the person needs to be aware, 
right, that his or her health is more important than the project, meaning that if you are well, if you feel good, then you will be able to present or to prepare a great proposal, a great project. But if you're, if you're worn out and you get something, you know, good, that will be at the expense of your health, right? At expense of the salud. This is, that's a very good piece of advice. Okay, guys, thank you very much for that. Now, please, para mañana. Ustedes saben que no se da las que dejo tareas, ¿verdad? Pero I would like to listen to you, okay? Ustedes son bien calladitos, ¿verdad? Así que, uh, for tomorrow, please prepare some pieces of advice for color two, color three, and color four. Esto está en su manual. Y en el manual, yo les digo qué página es. <coughs> Page number, uh, ah, bueno, page number 30, unit four, page number 30. Miren, aquí está abajo, ve. Page 30, unit four, early birds and night owls, okay? Early birds and night owls. Y es más, ¿saben qué es lo que voy a hacer? Para que no se nos olvide, se lo voy a agregar en WhatsApp web, okay? Just give me a moment. I'm going to take the screenshot. Mm -hmm. Ahí está. And here you are. I'm going to share this here. Mm -hmm. So remember, number one, we already did it. But if you want to add more, si quiere agregar más para mañana, también puede hacerlo. De acuerdo. Entonces, I'm going to pass the attendance right now, guys. Let's begin. Alba Dir Portal Díaz. You. Thank you, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Here. Thank you, um, Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Present. Thank you, Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you, um, Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Present. Thank you. Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you. Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Eh... Maria Susena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Present teacher. Thank you. Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Rafael Present, Antonio. Present teacher. Gracias, Nady. Gracias, Nady. Eh, Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Antonio Meléndez Morales. Rodrigo Daniel Meléndez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de Paz. Present. Thank you, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you, Jensi Marlene Lo León López. And Zulma Beatriz Perez Caldames. Thank you, Jensi. Present. Thank you, Zulma. Present. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for joining today. Don't forget to complete uh, the different sections right in the platform. Also, if you haven't sent the um, comprobante, do it. And um, that's it for today, guys. Thank you for uh, being here. Let's meet tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.